Yes, yes, lots of interesting information, man. Yes, sir. Just yes, sir. Tell your family, knowledge. You know, when we come on these incredible journeys and you go to the site, family, make sure you get with the local guides because they're going to tell you history beyond information that uh, you wouldn't believe. So that's uh, the main thing about uh, Before we go along, just enjoy our uh, the view, guys. site this is guide. Like one of the best views on top of the mountain. And as you can uh -oh. see, it is quite uh, dark in color. It's burnt over on the side of the mountain. So about two years ago, we actually had a mountain fire, which started on one of the apostles on that side. And because we had very high wind speeds on the same day, the wind actually spread the fire and it jumped over to the section. So there used to be lots of uh, plants like your proteas growing on this section of the mountain, um, namely your king protea, which is considered to be the national flower of South Africa, guys, okay? And all the plants which you do see at the top of the mountain, it is known as feinbos, okay? So feinbos, it is basically a Dutch or an Afrikaans word. If it were to be translated into direct English, it would simply mean fine bush. Okay, or shrubby like bush. And what makes this pine bush special, it's basically found nowhere else in the world besides at the top of Table Mountain National Park and in parts of the garden route itself. Okay, so Table Mountain National Park, guys, it stretches from Signal Hill, Lion's Head all the way to Cape Point which is actually in that direction okay. and across this entire mountain range alone we already have up to five and a half thousand different types of plant species so that's more plants on top of Table Mountain alone than the entire United Kingdom has in the entire country so that's another reason why we are a world heritage site and a seventh wonder of nature and like I also already mentioned all the fine bush which we do see, it makes up the Cape Floral Kingdom, which is actually indigenous to those parts of the world, and it's found nowhere else in the world, guys. Okay, do you guys have any questions here, though? Now we just enjoy. Well, I don't. Uh, anyone have any questions? <laughs> Sherman, what about you, man? Any questions? Okay, guys, I'm gonna I show think you our question. next plant. Yes. Well, um. Where, where does the um, Atlanta Ocean and Indian Ocean meet? Is that is that on the other so side? Or? That's not Great question. at Cape Point. It's actually mistaken for being at Cape Point. But it's actually a three-hour drive outside of Cape Town okay. by a place called Cape Pocalus. But we are going to head to that map over there now, and then I'm actually going to explain that to you guys as well. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let's um, just snap the quick photo over there while we take a walk to this part. The next flower though, guys, please don't touch it, okay? Because it is a bit of a poisonous plant. Let me just help. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let him come by first. Take it again, my friend. Take another one, okay? But you must stand in the corner over there. Yeah, let me get it for you, my man. Is it safe? Yes, my dear, don't Sure, worry. it's so safe. So coming back, I have to walk this way as well. No, I can't you go don't. around. You can go around. Okay. You can go around. No, as I just do it one time. No, don't worry, my dear. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> oh, this guy was taking a young video of me, so. <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, is it that you, you, you have yeah, a time yeah, on yeah. over I wonder where that come from. The African for African t-shirt and the Soweto hat. Love it, love it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so we're going to take a walk up this way, okay? Yes, yes. Appreciate the energy. A lot of good information, man. And this is a perfect view. We, we lucked out and got a perfect view because sometimes it's very foggy up here. And it's a beautiful day as well. So, so family, November 2019. We didn't see any of this because it was all foggy. So today has been a blessing. So you guys, you can go up this way. I'm just gonna show him the way around with the ramp, okay? Say, say, uh, say, uur, maar moeilijk. Dat is ook 
So, so he's doing a ramp and then he comes around if you don't want to go up the stairs and damn family here we go. Just when you thought we were all the way up in elevation, we're climbing more in elevation. Son, what, do you remember last time we was this high? Where were we? Here, right? And other time, well, I keep on forgetting you didn't, you didn't come to Brazil with us. But uh, we were up in this elevation, oh, and we saw all of Rio de Janeiro oh. from the cable cars. So, you know, this is uh, South Africa and Brazil, or, you know, Cape Town and Rio de Janeiro give you those access to the cable cars and give you that perfect mountain view. Just gotta not be scared of heights, but you know, and I can't tell you not to look down because you need to look down to see all of it. So in this case, from the mountain you see all of this energy. And our guide is about to come and break it down. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the information from the guide. Yeah. Very, very, yeah. He's it, coming. He's coming. He's coming this direction. Yeah. So these are the things that uh, he's gonna explain. I'm telling you, we were right here, and I couldn't <coughs> see nothing. There's just fogs everywhere. So the family, if you're gonna come up to Table Mountain, you have to plan it out well by just looking ahead of the weather and things like that. So that's where we came up from the cable cars and now we're even going further up. And once we get to the other side, you'll see the other side is beautiful 360 view. Yeah. And for those who want to do a lot of walking, you have coffee shops and you have seating area all in this direction. So family, the journey continues and we're going to share some more information and continue to just enjoy this view and this great atmosphere on top of Table Mountain. Sorry about that. Oh.